everybody. Final thoughts time for Royal Palace. Mr. Designer Javier George. I'm sorry, I still don't know how to say your name, even though you are in my top 10 designers of all time because of Twa, because of uh, oh, Carson City, and because of Palace Royal, or Royal Palace, or Palace Royale, however you want to say it, this is such a phenomenal design, and it's such a shame it does not get as much attention as some of his other designs that you know have gotten reprints and deluxe big box editions. This is a great, great game. It's never gotten any expansion content, but it doesn't really need it at all. There is nigh infinite replayability in this game because when you set it up, and you make that random palace. Yes, every game you're going to be going after the same stuff. Trying to recruit nobles as fast as possible. Doing the area control both in the action rooms but also out on the main board. Um, constantly juggling an ever-dwindling supply of servants. Trying to do more with less. Uh, it's just such a lovely, fun, brilliant puzzle every single time you play. Uh, Jen and I have not tired of it yet, and we've actually played this quite a few times. Totally a keeper. Um, it's... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of you know anything that I could find fault with it. I have to admit, I would love to see... I mean, maybe we played it so much, it would be nice to actually see some expansion, because there's so much more you could do with this. Alternate palace rooms, alternate special palace power cards you could get from the back door. But even without that, this is such a wonderful game, and it just goes to show how incredible designer Javier is. Or Xavier. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name again. I just really should have looked up before I filmed. It's great. It's a blast. It's very, very quick. And, I don't know, maybe it gives me a better appreciation for why so many people love so many area control games out there. Because this is really, more than anything else, your number one concern is area control. Because you're trying to grab all those outward spaces on the main... Uh, gardens to get the big points at the end of the game, but you're also trying to maintain control of all the rooms in the palace so you can get the bonuses throughout there. Uh, control is constantly changing hands as players, you know, rise and fall in dominance. And the beautiful thing about it is, unlike most area control games, yeah, just because I've taken control doesn't mean you still can't do stuff. It just means I can do it better. And um, so, you know, for care bearers like me and Jen, it's a great, great meeting place between that fun. Oh, I really need, to, I really need to be on top. I need to hold on to the, that tiebreaker or whatever it is. Um, but I don't feel bad about doing it because I'm not ruining you. I'm just helping myself a little bit. And you can still make major moves as well. It's so Care Bear friendly, but still such a really, really rock solid design for area control as well. But then just, you know, the, co the core action selection mechanism of the puzzle of where to put all of your servants, um, you know, when to make a big move that completely eliminates your ability to move guys around or completely eliminates your ability to recruit more guys. But you know what? It's worth it to put everything in the right position so you can get that really big score that will put you over the top. Um, there are so many big epic moments like that in what is... I'll admit, certainly a very, very dry, semi-abstract Euro. But for us, we definitely feel the theme come through. Um, you know, we you know we imagine all these servants running around the house like crazy, trying to get favor with the king, trying to um, you know just manage the logistics of the house, making sure everybody's in the right place at the right time, hiring more people, and then making all those uh, nobles feel well loved out on the board. Ah. I'm, I'm, there's not really much more to say. It's so sharp. It's so much fun. I can't think of any negatives against this whatsoever. It's a blast. It's such a shame. It's fallen off the radar. It's really not that well-known a game. Jen and I absolutely adore Royal Palace. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Have a very, very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Oh, bye-bye.